going on? Matt Downs with Trick Tins here. Today we are going to be installing this Fulton Fold Away Hinge Kit. This thing is very easy and it comes in handy if you've got a long tongue on your trailer. Let's get right into it. Let's open up this box, see what we got in here. All right, so this, everything comes in the box. We've got our bracket right here for the hinge. These two pins, one of these is a removable pin. The other bolt is gonna go through the solid side. And then we've got a bag full of our nuts and all our bolts are on this side right here. It's gonna be a pretty simple install. The first thing I gotta do is I'm gonna figure out where I wanna mark this at. How much do you wanna cut off? How much can you cut off? It's not gonna be in your way. And we're gonna cut about three foot off of this one. This is a pretty long trailer, so I think that'll be good. And we're gonna have to move this thing first. This is in the way, and I don't really just wanna move it you know, back up here on the same side, because then when you're cranking it, you're gonna be busting your knuckles up onto this thing right here. So we're gonna take this off, put it on the opposite side, and we're gonna get it as close up here as we can. Then I'm gonna come back and cut through this. Now, when you make this cut, you wanna be careful when you cut through here, you don't cut through your wires, because your trailer lights are obviously wires inside of there. So we're gonna push those wires up past it and cut through it. Let's get back to work. Now that I've got this cut off, I did have to cut through my wires. We're going to reattach these with some heat shrink connectors. One thing they don't tell you to do, but I recommend that you do, is where you cut through this galvanized tube, it's exposed steel. So now you need to cover that up with some paint. So I just put a light coat of paint on there, and that's just to help out if this thing gets in the salt water. Pretty simple, it takes you a couple of seconds and it might prolong the life of the trailer. Now we gotta figure out which way you want this thing to swing. Since we put our jack on this side, I want it to swing on the opposite side. So we're gonna put this piece on in that orientation. You want your farthest point back on the side it's gonna swing from. It's gonna swing back around that direction. Pretty simple. This side's gonna have the solid bolt in it and this side's gonna have the removable pin. So it does come with this little center punch, which makes this extremely easy. Guys, you just push this thing on as far as you can get it. Get this one out of the way for a second. And you're gonna take this center punch, just like so. Smack those four holes. This thing is definitely a necessity because you gotta get this centered. You're gonna have to drill through here up to a half inch hole. So I'm probably gonna start with like a 3 16 and then step it up to a quarter, 3 8 half inch. So you're gonna get these marked on the top and the bottom. And it's a lot easier to do the other piece because you can put that up in device and you don't have to do it while it's on the trailer. The hardest ones is going to be these four on the bottom, drilling through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these done and get the other one bolted on and then we'll show you how this thing works. Let's get back to work. All right, so we got this piece attached and I got all four of the nuts on the bottom and the top inside of there. Now I just put these on with a little socket set. I am gonna come back because you gotta torque these to 75 pounds of pressure. One thing I forgot to mention is you wanna make sure you put the male piece on the actual trailer itself. The tongue is going to have the female receiver piece. Now that I got this piece on here, that was the hard one. I'm gonna take this other piece right here over to my dad's garage next door. You got a drill press. That way I can drill these things in the drill press to be a whole lot easier. Let's get back to work. So there it is, it's your safety pin right here. It's got a hole in this bottom. You stick this carter pin in here, and when you want to swing it away, you pull this thing out, swing it back. Works out nice. Now I do have to hook up these lights. I'm gonna hook these wires back up in just a minute. 
And then I'm gonna come back and tighten up these with my torque wrench. But it's pretty simple. This thing saves you a lot of space. I did grease this bolt before I put it in there. That's why it's got the black grease on it. Just to make sure that this thing will swing. And it's a whole lot easier to get good grease up inside of that hole while it's obviously not installed. So there it is guys, it's pretty simple. You guys can handle this. And it's a good way to gain some extra room in your garage because we just cut three feet off the front of this trailer. Now, the only other thing you'll have to do is add some different safety chains. Because you see these safety chains are up here and they say that you should add some safety chains basically from the trailer tongue piece back. So a couple holes here and here and add a chain between these two on the sides. They sell a kit for that too, the chain kit. But it's pretty cool. Worked out good. Good luck guys. I'll see y'all next time. Let's get back to work.